Hey, everybody. Welcome to Comic Book Dad Ventures. Today, Alice and I were going to film something, but my iPhone decided to not work correctly. When I turn the phone sideways, it uh, the orientation stays vertical. So we went to the, the iPhone store and we were not able to fix that, unfortunately. Right. Didn't we go to the, the phone store and we also had lunch. What did you have for lunch today? Pancakes, yummy, yummy, chocolate, da, 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 chocolate. <laughs> 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 and we also went to the Goodwill and we got a Mickey Mouse uh, Christmas book. But uh, no comic books, so maybe it, it wouldn't even have made sense anyway. But regardless, because we weren't able to film something today, we have a blast from the past. This is a video from two years ago when I started doing bulk purchases from comic shops. So for comic book fans out there, they're really going to enjoy this. Alice, you're only two years old when this happened. You're only two years old, so you're not really in this video. But we will share with you uh, some good comic book history here from uh, from a purchase that I made two years ago. And Alice, yeah, who's your favorite superhero? Captain America. So maybe there's some Captain America books in there. We'll have to keep our eyes out. But again, this is a video from a bulk purchase that I did from a comic shop in the summer of 2020. Uh, one of two, or perhaps these are both of them together. Um, I'm not quite sure. I don't quite remember. So let's take a look back. Let's take a trip down memory lane and see some uh, boxes and boxes of comics that I purchased two years ago. <laughs> hey y'all, I am recording from my garage here, so please excuse the mess and oil stains. I wanted to share this today where I recently contacted a local comic book store and uh, asked them if they were selling any long boxes of comics. So a, a long box is one of these right here. Essentially, they're full of comic books standing upright. Um, and so I reached out to them. And for those of you who don't know, most of them are bagged and boarded. So a lot of these comic books, they're in one of these plastic jackets and also a, a cardboard backing to keep it flat and protected. So anyway, I reached out to a local comic book store to see if they were selling these long boxes in bulk and it turned out that they were. So my friend and I went down to this comic book shop and dug through and pulled out lots of different things that were down there. And here's just some of the some of the gems that I've come across so far. So here we have a run of Amazing Spider-Man from the 1970s, starting with 130. And here you see 131, 132, that one's a little beaten up. Oh, but look, I have another copy, 132. 133, 137, 138, 139, 139, 139. <laughs> so a lot of Amazing Spider-Man from the 70s, as you can see. Not that bad, I don't think. And this run goes, I mean, just this stack here alone goes 160s. I can't even get to the bottom of the stack. <laughs> I'll hold the camera. 199, no 200, but there's 201 with the Punisher. 202 with the Punisher. 203, 204. And this run here that I just pulled goes up to issue 225 so about 100 issues almost straight of amazing spider-man with a lot of duplicates in there too also have an impressive run of iron man these are some of the later ones here on the top but there's some in here that go back to the 70s these are a little bit earlier here we go 93 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, and again, just the stack is falling over. There's so many of these. 99, 101. So a lot of Marvel, and as I was saying, there's they're just all mixed together. Um, 
and just the gems in these are amazing. So this box I put together is a lot of Silver Age comics. Oops, well, that was a bad example. But a lot of Silver Age comics from the 60s. A lot of them are pretty beaten up, unfortunately. They're not in great condition. Um, but, you know, again, for 10 cents a comic, <laughs> I can't really can't complain that much. Uh, just classic titles. Fantastic Four. Jimmy Olsen, Lois Lane, Action Comics. Some of them had these sticky notes on them. Um, it seems to be prices that they were go going to sell them at. But again, this, the strange. Again, the strange thing is that they were somewhat sorted in the basement of this comic book shop, but they also were mixed together to some degree. Some of them had prices on them, but then they were mixed. So. I'm not really sure what they were doing exactly. It just seemed like they maybe got fatigued and didn't want to deal with these. Um, I actually pulled some out of these already and was bagging them. So I can show you those too. So here are some of the gems I already pulled out from the collection last night. I found this really cool Nightmare on Elm Street comic book magazine from uh, Marvel and uh, from 1989. It's pretty cool. Also found a lot of comic books from the 60s, Action Comics 315, Action Comics 349, Adventure Comics 381. This actually started a run where Supergirl starred in Adventure Comics. Have The Flash 210, Incredible Hulk 165, Justice League America 26, Justice League of America 35, Justice League of America 37. Again, these are all just gems from the from the 1960s. These are worth, you know, 20, 30 bucks each. And I got them for 10 cents, which is pretty amazing. New Gods number four. This, of course, is Jack Kirby, uh, his work in DC Comics. New Gods 8. Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. number two. Phantom Stranger number 17. Phantom Stranger number 20, Superboy 124, Superboy 128, Superman 193, this is a giant sized, Superman 194, Superman 201. This is actually um, a take off of a Spider-Man comic book that uh, also came out around the time. So you may recognize the cover where Spider-Man, where Peter Parker is walking away from Spider-Man. DC did a similar cover here with uh, Superman. Superman 217. Lois Lane 86. So these are just some that I pulled out last night. Um, I actually ran out of bags and boards uh, for Silver Age Comics. I didn't have too many on hand. And then I had some more here still unbagged. So here's some other ones. The unfortunate thing with uh, a lot of these older Silver Age comics that were in the collection is that they're pretty beat up. Um, again, they're, they're classic comic books, but just uh, haven't been bagged, haven't been boarded, so just pretty beat up. I mean, there's some that are in fine condition. Um, you know, maybe 7.0, best case scenario. Like this one, Outlaw Kid 16, is pretty good from 1973. Pretty decent condition. But, you know, a lot of the Supermans, um, they're pretty beat up. I mean, there's, there's some of them with, like, drawing on them. You see here with this Flash comic. Just, like, drawing on it. Uh, this is actually a pretty good condition one. I thought this might be worth more. I looked at the value. It's not really worth that much. Um, where Creatures Roam, number five. Pretty good condition. A lot of war comics. That's what I saw in here too. Um, nostalgic Mad. Legions of Superheroes. I'm sorry, Adventure Comics 403. A lot, a lot of Sergeant Fury comics. Like a, a ton of them. Number 34 here. It's from, what is this one from? 66. And some of them are really in, in rough shape. There's actually, I don't know where it is in here, 
um, but still in the boxes. Let's see, the cover's totally missing out this. Um, there was one Superman comic from the 40s, but it was just destroyed. I mean, again, you can see here, and I mean, know which issue this is. Justice League 56, the top of the cover is missing. But even though these are in pretty rough shape, again, for 10 cents each, <laughs> that's not bad. Again, that's less than the original cover price. And considering inflation and the actual value of these comics, I think that's a pretty good deal. Teen Titans 18, Teen Titans 24, this one's in rough shape, but look, I got another copy. So that's all right. This one's actually in pretty darn good shape. Maybe fine or better. Number 28, they actually wrote the number on here because it the printing defect. Number 30, Adventure 385, 380, 378, 376, 371, 365. Again, you see more here with the sticky notes on it. I've never actually seen that before. Or a comic shop would put sticky notes for what they're going to sell a Silver Age comic book at without bagging it or boarding it. It's a little strange to me. This is a weird series. Prez. I actually got a few copies here. Two of number one. Three of number two. Number three. Number four. Our Teen Titans. Black Panther 24, Eternal 17, and again, some of these 60s ones, especially the Superman comics, they're pretty beat up. Some of them are falling apart. Teen Titans ones are actually in decent shape. Flash 211 with green, oh, I thought that was Green Lantern. falling apart. I don't even know what, what this goes to. The back of a cover that got one of them's missing. So these are the gems that I pulled out so far. Again, there's a lot more of these in the boxes out there still. It's a pretty cool one. Not bad shape. 336 from 66. Um, there's still a lot of them that are in the boxes out there that I haven't seen yet. So we're going to go take a look and see if there's more of these that we can come across. So just looking through some more of these. Again, I got a lot of newer stuff in here too. It's not all gems. It's not all old stuff. Uh, actually, some of these Justice Societies, I believe, are worth a little more because they are variant covers. Um, but, you know, th there is some lesser value stuff in here. But again, I paid essentially... I need some duplicates too. But again, I, I paid 10 cents a comic for these. So... Considering that, it's worth having some things that aren't always the best. And again, it's just mixed too. It's not necessarily that it's bad, but just, you know, cool stuff from the 90s right next to cool stuff from the 70s. Some World's Finest. It's uh, Batman and Superman together. And there's some more new gods. There's number two. Actually, that one's not in that bad shape. Pretty decent shape. New gods number three. This is the... This is a reprint or something, I think. You can see the, uh, the price is different. The DC logo is different. This is an original. This is a second volume of New Gods from the 80s. So, a few, of, a few of those in there. I guess I'll separate those out. 
This one from the 90s, huh? Or 2007. Death of the New Gods. Body doubles. Mr. Miracle. Again, sorry, this is my garage, so you guys have to put up with the dirty floor. What's this one? 15 cents, huh? So some Mr. Miracles. In this box, there's a run of Thor, starting with Thor 130 from 1966. Here's 198, and it's in terrible shape. And jumps ahead a bit, but a lot of Thor comics. That's the thing too, is you know, even if it's later on, or even if it's not the best condition, when you get one character and you get hundreds of issues of them together. It makes it easier to, to sell these. Um, you'd probably want to sell the, the older copies individually, but when you start moving into the 70s and 80s, having you know, a full run of just issue after issue is pretty awesome. It's also helpful when you have issues that are just totally <laughs> pulverized and destroyed. So now I'm digging through, I'm realizing this entire box is Thor. Just an entire long box. Eh. Okay, you have one or two issues that aren't spawned. But for the most part, just Thor, 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 Green Lantern. Thor, 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 Silver Surfer. Which that's pretty cool. Some older Silver Surfers. From the 80s. Let's look it up. Batman. Thor, 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 over and over and over again. Like eighty percent of the box is Thor. Some Punishers, Nova, not that great. And we got more Amazing Spider-Man's. Ladder 300s, 400 in there, 399, 401. It seems like the round numbers tend to be missing. But regardless, another decent run of Amazing Spider-Man. Peter Parker, Web of Spider-Man, Fantastic Four. There's another Thor in there, Thor 181. Spawn, the Hulk, 186. The Incredible Hulk, 302. A little later, 335. Venture Comics, 386. See, the funny thing is, again, they have price tags on these, like, I don't know if they were out and then they got rid of them, or, like, they put them in the basement after a while, or what, but it's a little strange that they seem to have been sorted and priced, yet we're just in this basement all together and they were willing to let it go for such a cheap price. There's more Amazing Spider-Man, 206, more Adventure Comics, 344, oh, two copies of 344. More Adventure Comics. It's a pretty cool cover. Supergirl and Lex Luthor. Solid comic books from the era. And then again, you got Amazing Spider Man, two copies of 206, 207. Like, it's another run here. 240s. Like, it seems as though, for the most part, disregarding 
some of the key issues. I have a solid run of Spider-Man from the early 70s. Oh, there's 350. From the uh, 70s to the 2000s. And this box, some are bagged, but it doesn't look like any are boarded. It's a lot of Batmans, they're really tightly packed. A lot of Detective Comics, Legends of the Dark Knight, I can see in here. Again, they're just packed so tight. Kind of afraid to take them out. More Spider Man. Up a Spider Man. The problem is with this too is having to sort all this because everything's so mixed together. Like to, in order to sell this, you know, it's, it's so mixed. You can tell here, yeah, Death of Superman. There's an Action Comics. Makes sense. There's another Death of Superman. Ghost Rider, it's like a mixed lot from the from the 90s it looks like. Dick Tracy. The original Dick Tracy. This one's mostly comics from the 90s, which wouldn't be as valuable and that's why they're not bagged or boarded. Although even the ones from the 60s weren't bagged or boarded, so maybe that's not the reason why. And some weird bags too, older bags. There we go. X Force number one. Wonder how many of those are in here. Probably hundreds. Silver Surfer number two. Is that a comic book about comic book collecting? Well, I guess that could be handy. Well, these prices are probably not accurate. Silver Surfers, Detective Comics, these are a little older. It's like early 80s, I think. Here's one that looks like it has some older ones in there. Although I think maybe I took some out already. This is where a lot of the Nick Furies are. Early issues. Captain America 191. Captain Savage. Of those. I think this is mostly like a war comics box right here. This one's packed pretty tightly, also. It's all different ages from the 60s through the 90s. War comics. A lot of Sergeant Rock. Some unbagged ones are back here. Oh, we got Transmetropolitan. Great series, by the way. As I mentioned, Derek Robertson was the illustrator on this. See? This is a great series. It's um, actually based on Hunter S. Thompson. If you folks are familiar with Hunter S. Thompson of Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas fame. It's essentially this character here, Spider Jerusalem, is Hunter S. Thompson in a dystopian future. And it's a really good story. I highly recommend it. Again, just lots and lots of mixed stuff in here. Fairest, I don't even know what that is. Hulk, Uncanny X-Men, Horseman, more Thor, more Thor, Tales of Witchblade, Evangeline and Glory. Oh my God, oh my God, Action Comics number one. This is worth millions of dollars. Oh no, it's just a reprint. Wah wah, but it's actually pretty beaten up for being from 2017. And again, it's strange, so they must have put this down in their basement just in the last couple years. Vampirella, and there is some newer comics in here too. Like I don't, I don't know what Ferris is, but it must be a newer comic series. Ooh, 2001. Space Odyssey, look at that. Pretty sweet. 
And just more and more Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. So many Spider-Mans. Especially like 80s black suit Spider-Mans. So many of these. So, putting these on eBay. I mean, I don't even know how many listings I'm going to have to do unless I wanted to sell long boxes all together. That's cool. Hobgoblin. Before this, actually, on the subject of Black Suit Spider-Man and Hobgoblin, I'd say the best score I ever got was at a consignment shop where they had comic books for 2 or $3 each. And I got a copy of Amazing Spider-Man 252, which is the first Black Suit Spider-Man, and then also the first appearance of Hobgoblin, both for only $3. So prior to this, that was my greatest comic book score ever, but I don't think that can really compare to that, because this is just gem after gem. Well, a lot of crap too, but so, so many gems of all kinds of different eras, all mixed together. Oh, and some wrestling magazines too. Pretty cool. R. Anderson and uh, Sid Vicious actually had a real-life altercation once where I believe it was Sid stabbed Arn with scissors or no Arn stabbed Sid with scissors So For those wrestling fans out there. I was actually hoping to get some more wrestling comics in here I'm hoping that there's somewhere either some early 90s WCW. Oh, there's a Captain America 169 oh, Captain Marvel 35 Oh, Daredevil, 110, sweet. So yeah, some more 70s Marvel comics in here, and a bag by itself. Look at this one. Werewolf by Night, Scourge of the Soul Beast. Apparently this is a series, I've never heard of this series before. Batman's. And I, I've seen several copies of Catwoman number one now. <laughs> I'll flood the market with Catwoman number ones. Some uncanny X Men, earlier ones. Well, 80s ones. Well, not wrestling comic books, but a shit ton of wrestling magazines. From all different eras. Not sure how much these might be worth, but pretty cool. Ah, oh, sweet. Look at this one. Is this like an actual thing for Night of Champions? Huh. That is pretty awesome. Official results from Night of Champions at Meadowlands. Wow. Interesting. <laughs> Jimmy Snook and Hulk Hogan. Again, I'm not really sure of the value. Oh, Sergeant Slaughter. I'm not sure of the value of these um, old wrestling magazines, but at the very least, they're pretty cool. Jerry the King Lawler. I had a great feud with Andy Kaufman back in the day. Some great Ric Flair covers. Andre the Giant jumping up in the air. Wow. <clears throat> anyway, back to comics. Looks like this is a lot of 70s and 80s Marvel comics. Return of the Jedi number two. I don't know much about Star Wars comics, how valuable they might be. Really more of a superhero person. Metal Men, unfortunately, is not that great. Justice League, this is a little later. Supergirl number one. Uh, maybe that's for something. Pretty good condition, at least. Uh, 
Beowulf, Dragon Slayer number one. I'm guessing this is worth about two bucks, maybe? If I'm lucky. And again, just packed tightly. It's really a shame because they get sort of destroyed in here. And it's just, you know, you risk even damaging them, even going through them or trying to take them out. It's a lot of 70s. Marvel Comics, and DC actually too, mixed together. Just random stuff, <laughs> random comics. Just reach in. What do you think this one will be? Jonah Hex, number 63. Actually that one's, yeah, decent shape. Lobo, Lobo is awesome. One of my favorite comic book series, Lobo. This actually looks like it's, it's all number four. Oh no, it's the first. Mini series, four issues. Some X Men comics, Silver Surfer Annual 5, X Men Annual 16. Bags are even coming off some of these things. How did that come off of? X Force Annual number one. This box has some. Hawkman, some Uncanny X-Men, New Adventures of Superboy, those are not really valuable. It's an older one. Giant Superboy, number 10, from 1965, maybe or something. Again, kind of beat up, unfortunately, some of the older ones, but the sheer quantity of them makes up for it. Just how they're mixed together. Anarchy is a pretty cool series, actually. I like Anarchy. If that isn't obvious. Wonder Woman Zero. Man of Steel number one. Oh, actually, both versions of that. And another copy of number one. Superman's. Got a couple copies of the 1997 costume and power change, which is one of the worst decisions in comic book history, I'd have to say. Some 70s Supermans. Sort of the kind of comics that my dad had. From that, ah, maybe that's a little later, but. Late 70s, Adventures of Superman. It says 424. This is actually the first issue of The Adventures of Superman. After Crisis on Infinite Earths, they rebooted the Superman title, started Volume 2, and the old Superman title became Adventures of Superman. So it went from Superman Volume 1, 423, to Adventures of Superman, 424. Oh, I got a Doomsday one. Doomsday killed Superman for a short while in 1993, which a couple copies of that, don't I? See, there's dead Superman. And then that caused, of course, oh, this is all. There's where Superman came back from the dead. Many different copies of versions of this book. There's tons and tons of them in here. It's, this is the, this is what is underneath this bag here. This caused the reign of the Superman, where many different versions of Superman came back and fought with each other. There's Superboy, there was also Steel. There's some Conan's in there. There's also Steel and Cyborg Superman and Eradicator Superman, but none of them were actually Superman. It was actually another Superman who came back. And that was actually one of the first comic books I ever had, was one of the last issues of the reign of the Superman. This box starts off with a bunch of spawns, which were overvalued at one point in time. Panther. I don't know what the value of spawn is nowadays. Probably only number one is worth anything. Some Vampirella. These ones here. This one's kind of crushed. Darkness Vampirella. Kind of beat up. So this is more newer stuff. 
meat cake. See, I'm not a fan of this kind of artwork, this avant-garde stuff. I like more of the just traditional. Ooh, married with children. <laughs> 3D version with glasses inside. It's, it's bagged. That's what those bags are sticking out. Then there's married with children quantum quartet. This is a playoff of a Fantastic Four cover. Human fly. And again, they can't all be gems. And the real crap is just packed together so tight. At least I got my money's worth that for that reason alone. Jeez Louise, it's crammed in here. Oh, more Spider-Mans. I tell you, there's gonna be a lot of Spider-Mans on eBay pretty soon. <laughs> so many Spider-Mans. Now that I took some out, I can see there are some older Fantastic Fours. Number 70. Number 105. And this beat up, which is such a shame. <laughs> it just hurts to see these things so beat up. 106. 111. More Evangeline. The older Ghost Rider. Flipping right through it. Official handbook to the Conan universe. I think my friend Rob might want this. Conan the Barbarian, number six. This has got to be pretty old. At least it looks in that condition. Yeah, the Ghost Rider. Oh, it's the original Ghost Rider. Again, more Spider-Man, 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 Spider-Man. So many Spider-Mans. Tons and tons of Spider-Mans. I also said I was looking for some wrestling comics. Well, here we go. Warrior number one. Warrior number two. This, of course, was from The Ultimate Warrior. He had his own comic book. So pretty sweet. Four issues of Warrior. Again, more Spider-Man. This is like, I don't know, man. <laughs> Pretty close to half Spider-Man at this point. <laughs> this Spider-Man, Spider-Man, Spider-Man. Every kind of Spider-Man there is, I got it. So much Spider-Man. You know, I always thought Spider-Man was cool and everything. You know, he's, he's kind of a jackass and he's smart. And also has superpowers, and he swings around, he's got a bright costume, yada yada yada, cool villains. But I don't know, something about it, I never really got into it. I was always more of a DC person than a Marvel person. I know it's like sacrilege to say that, but... I don't know. It's a little too... A little too in your face, you know? Just trying a little too hard. Who do you think is the DC version of Spider-Man, if, if you had to pick one? I don't think it's Batman. Because Batman would be more like Iron Man, right? Like Bruce Wayne is Tony Stark, essentially, right? I mean, Tony Stark's an alcoholic. But, oh, Submariner. See, the price tag on here says $1, which leads me to believe it's not worth that much. Two dollars, so it must it must not be that valuable. But they're older, so mariners. This terrible condition. Pretty solid run, though. Get out of here, Spider-Man. Yeah, it's a bunch of submariners. I don't know. Ever something, right? This one is like the Daredevil box. It's a ton of Daredevil. Seen a lot of 90s, 90s Daredevil, the 80s. There's probably some value. Oh shit! I got all boarded. There's probably some more valuable ones. 
to work back into the 80s. But again, they're just so tightly packed in here and some of them don't have boards. Some duplicates, so looks like I got essentially a box of Daredevil here. Dazzler. Where monsters dwell. Actually, this is pretty decent, yeah, okay condition. 72. I like these old monster horror sci-fi comics. I think some of them aren't really worth that much. Like, I don't think this is probably actually even worth that much, but they're pretty cool comics. I mean, cool art. And this, this seems to be alphabetized. We got Deathlock, and we got Defenders comics in here. Just a ton of Defenders. Defenders, 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 Defenders. It's a ton of them. So some of these are in alphabetical order, which is nice to have sorted at least. This box says Batman on it. It is Batman. There's a lot of Batman. There's also some Supermans in here. But, oh, there's a nice 70s detective, a lot of detective comics in here. Lots and lots of Batman, lots and lots of Batman bags ripping. Probably multiple copies of these, yeah, these start getting in the 90s. Batman 468, Batman 468, Batman 468. Jesus, this one's written on. Yeah. Lots of 90s Batmans. Oh, and there's uh, Bane breaking Batman's back. And multiple copies of those. Knight's End. Yeah, you know, Batman's probably one of the most consistently good comic books, but I don't know. Something about the artwork in the mid to late 90s. Not that big of a fan. Oh, Swamp Thing. I want this packed tight. That looks like it's a lot of Daredevil. That's the older one. Daredevil 123, 124, 128. Where does that start? That it's not only that different kinds of comics are mixed together, it's that even with the same series, they may not necessarily be arranged together. There we go, 98. 144. I think I have some of these already, but that's okay. 101. Pretty, uh, Bright red on that, 142. 109. 119. Looks like Hulk Hogan. 129, 141, 148. Some other series mixed in here too. Oh, sweet. Captain Planet number one. Good deal. Captain Savage. So here we go. Here's like some captains and century and some different C's mixed in with the D's here. It goes to Giant Size Hulk, Giant Size Conan, Original Ghost Rider. These are older. It looks like more Thor! Oh, I needed some Thor. Then back to Daredevil. Hulk, so it's kind of mixed together Marvel, it seems like, and a bunch of Hulk. Hopefully, I got a 181 in here. <laughs> Which is, uh, for those of you who don't know, first appearance of Wolverine. 
Probably not. I'm assuming it's been picked through at least a little bit. So, some older ones. 1873. We got this 90s crap in here. 233. 160. Oh, two copies of that. <laughs> 164. 173. 219. Yeah, I'm downing. I'm going to find a 181 in here. Unfortunately. Yeah, when it gets to 80s and 90s. A lot of Hulk, though. Lots and lots of Hulk. Then this box starts off with Patsy Walker. And Iron Man 79. Ooh, Iron Man 44. 49, really beat up. Invincible Iron Man number three. Just fucking torn up though. Not in good shape at all. It's really, really beaten up. And some 90s crap. And the rest of this box is Silver Surfer. And guess what? Spider Man! Spider Man! Spider Man! Spider Man! Spider Man! Spider Man! Does anybody like some? Does anybody like Spider Man? I'll mail you some free comics. There's so much Spider Man. The boxes are just overflowing with Spider Man. Spider Man, the same issue over and over again, too. And then more Silver Surfer. Which is also a good series. I like Silver Surfer. Very philosophical. And then the next one is just jam packed again to the gills. No idea what this is. Battlestar Galactica. It's probably a lot of 70s comics just based on the fact that they're just bagged and not boarded. And they're also crammed together. It's cool. I mean, they're all actually all in pretty good shape for the most part so far. I feel like somebody's... Oh, Spider-Man! Spider-Woman. There we go. Looks like somebody's 70s collection, I guess. They sold to the store. 196. 197. Iron Man's. Lots of Iron Man's, too, actually, in this collection. In this lot that I bought. And Thor. 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 These are some older ones though. Uh, and then we're getting some newer comics in here too. More Daredevil, Punisher. So lots and lots of Marvel in here. Except from Batman and Superman. This is a predominantly Marvel lot. Although what's this? Ooh, Spectre. Adventure Comics. Aquaman Adventure Comics. Ooh, Godzilla, King of the Monsters. It's weird, it's like it started off as a 70s and then like slowly kind of evolves into newer stuff. Like got Lady Death in here. Lots of Lady Death. It says $18 on the price tag. <clears throat> and then like there's another 70s She-Hulk here. Oh, sweet. You know what I found? Besides so Purgatory and Lady Death and Vampirella. Some Steve Austin comics! Yeah. Awesome. The thing that sucks about... That was my wife. I was gonna say, the thing that sucks about flipping through so many comics, besides being late for dinner, is that... I'm pretty sure I'm probably skipping over some. 
but this is a lot of Batman. Cat's eye. Whatever the hell that is. One more Batman. Batman, Batman, Batman. Well, as you heard the wife, I have to go now. Well, there's some older stuff back here. What is this? Let's just take one last look here. The Phantom. You know, that was my nickname among my friends for a while, The Phantom. He's never made grand exits, I always just kind of vanished from parties. Ooh, Space War. I don't think these uh, Charlton comics are worth much, though. Anywho, so that's about half of the collection so far. And I'm feeling it was well worth the investment. How about you? Why don't you comment below on whether or not this is worth it? China! Nice. There we go. There's some more wrestling comics. Why don't you comment below whether or not this investment was worth it? <laughs> some multiple issues of China number one there. Or, yeah, this is China number one. The Hong Kong Fui. Sweet. Hong Kong Fui. Ghost of Dr. Graves. And more Lady Death. Chaos Comics. Lady Death, Lady Death. Oh, Bartman. Wolverine. Yeah, we have Wolverine number one. That'd be pretty cool. Anyway, I have to go eat dinner now. Oh, turtles. Comment if you think this investment has been worth it so far. And I will be back later to show you the rest of this massive, massive collection. So day two of sorting through this massive collection. Here's some things that I found already. Crisis on Infinite Earths 11, also number 9. Green Lantern 57. Justice League of America 8, if you can believe it. And also Justice League of America 63. I have some other various things through here. Some there's some flashes in here actually. And again, the amazing thing is that I'm finding so many duplicates as well. Um, I actually all, already took out some Silver Age comics. As you saw, I had some inside, and I'm now finding duplicates of those in here. I have a ton of Superboys. Some of these are ones that I already brought inside. And again, in pretty decent condition, all things considered. I mean, being unbagged and everything, it's not horrible. Well, that one's got a rip. But I mean, you know, the ones that are bagged, those are in pretty nice shape. This one I already had. Like already pulled from the collection. Interesting cover. I think on some of these maybe they were doing some acid back in the 60s. Because some of the covers are bizarre. A bunch of Jimmy Olsons. This one I also had already pulled. Here's another double. Here's another double. Two copies of that one. That's a nice wrestling comic, huh? Bizarro Jimmy Olsen. Some World's Finest. That's a nice, nice bright colors in that one. And again, they're they're these are actually not in that bad shape. So these are worth some money. Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane.
It's another double. I think I already had that one too. That one was already pulled out. I think this one might have been too. And a bunch of adventure comics. These are also in pretty good shape. I already had that one. I think I might have already pulled that one too. It's hard to keep track because there's so many damn comics. I also found more Amazing Spider-Man and another box of the Spider-Man books. I mean, I can, again, it would take me forever to show you every single comic that's in this collection. There's just tons and tons and tons and tons and tons and tons. Here's another one that's really packed very tightly, so it's kind of hard to even get in here to start taking them out. I might have it backwards too. Dawn. Oh, there's Mankind, Mick Foley. So there's a wrestling comic. Kid Death and Fluffy, okay. Oh, there's a nice one, huh? Here's a good one. Star Trek. Alien Spotlight. Tribbles. This would be a nice Father's Day present for my dad. He's a big Star Trek fan. There's some older ones in here too. Well, maybe not. I never heard of these comics. It's not necessarily a good sign when you never heard of them. However, I did find one 2001 a Space Odyssey. There's a bunch of these too, by the way. Batman 500s, there's a ton of those. Um, but I think the most expensive comic that I've at least looked up so far is uh, a book called 2001 A Space Odyssey. Number eight, I believe, which is the first appearance of Machine Man. I may have the issue number wrong. It's a ton of Batman. This one's pretty interesting. It's like a foil edition comic of the Beauty and the Beast TV series from the early 90s. Okay, so it's a new day and I've sorted a lot of these more valuable ones out of the boxes. I'm still going through them. Um, I've organized all the Spider-Man over there. Here's a huge stack of all my Iron Man comics. But I just want to show you some of these other ones that I have. I'm trying not to stand in the light, but... Uh, got Spawn number one, Spawn number two, Blue Beetle, Magnus Robot Fighter, Nostalgic Mad. These are uh, a bunch of just random stuff here, um, random DC and random Marvel, but go through this here. Some Flash. More flash. Getting some of these in rough shape. Some I'm written on. This one's a pretty nice copy. A lot of them have these price tags on them. So, depending on when these were, and this says 2006, I imagine it must have gone up in price since then. Some of them are more recent. Here's Justice League number one. This is a fairly valuable comic from the 80s. Detective Comics 526. Phantom Stranger 27. Forever People 7. This other series, OMAC One Man Army Corps. Supergirl 7. Forever People 9. Korak Son of Target. Korak Son of Tarzan. Wonder Woman 194. Wonder Woman 201, Wonder Woman 213, Legion of Superheroes 310, there's more OMAC, V for Vendetta, not sure about this, obviously this was a, a movie um, about 15 years ago, and was pretty big at the time, so I imagine that comic is probably worth some money, it's a pretty beat up 
Justice League. Here's an interesting comic in here. Inferior 5. I'd never heard of this series before. But these two aren't in that bad shape. Hawkman 26, Legion of Superheroes 4, Justice League 106, Justice League 108, Justice League 109, it's missing the corner there, so there's a sticker. Superboy 204, oh, is that actually Superboy? That should be in this other pile. Flash 205, Legion 403, Teen Titans 24, pretty great shape. Not sure which issue number this is. There's actually a printing defect. 28. Ah, uh, look, they wrote it there. Underneath. 30. 18. There's another much worse copy of 24. There's Justice League 56. Teen Titans 34. Series Prez. Several copies of 2. There's three and four. There's a couple copies of number one. Teen Titans 39. Teen Titans 40. Flash 211. Flash 216. Flash 215. And here's a Marvel pile, not as big, but Giant Size Conan number two. Tomb of Dracula 26. Fantastic Four 152. Pretty good shape. It's not that early of an issue, but I imagine it's supposed to be worth something. I got Wolverine, issues 5, 3, which I got two copies of, number 2, number 1. Captain America, this says autographed by Bob Petrecka. I'm not sure where the autograph is, I'm not seeing it. Must be inside somewhere. Daredevil, number 80. And pretty beat up, but I'll take it. Hulk 144, pretty cool cover there with Doctor Doom. Fantastic Four 136, Fantastic Four 138, Fantastic Four 137, Fantastic Four King Size Special number 10, Eternal 17, Black Panther 24, Mr. Miracle 5. Oh, that's actually a DC book. That's what happened there. Six. And then Two Gun Kid number 80. All right. So here we have a Superboy pile. You saw that one already. So 149, 152, 140, 125, 126, 113, 114, 115, 123, 160, 138. It's a bigger one, 80 page giant. 137, pretty good shape. 129, 108. 170, 181, sorry again about the stickies and some of these, I haven't taken them off yet. It's an interesting cover, huh? 176, 173, it's a pretty cool cover. Where's that, 184, 179, the cover on this is detached, unfortunately. 109, 110, 111. 183, and I haven't had a chance to sort these yet. 189, 187, 167. Super Baby doesn't understand what he thinks is fun, is destroying the world. And some of these covers are just strange, you know, they must have been dropping acid in the 60s, thinking of this stuff. 127, 126, so this other, I had that already. There's a lot of doubles in here, just lots and lots of doubles. 132, 134, 142, 164. Jesus, <laughs> that's a hell of a cover. 114, that's pretty sweet. Look at that one. 115, 116, 117, 118, 119, 120. 122, 147, 149, 150, 151, 152, 153, 158, and there's 160, a better copy of that one. And I have Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen, 
Well, I'll start back here. Here's world's finest. So which number is this? I guess it's pretty beat up. 167, 207, also pretty beat up. 233, 220, 211, 290, 208, 291, 204, 213, 150. That's an older one, huh? What year is that? 1965, 210. 209, 179, 251, 250, I don't know if that's worth anything, 195, 121, it's got to be getting towards the early 60s, look at the price tag on that, the 10 cents, 206, 209, 214. I'm glad I got this one. I actually had bought another copy of this and it was just terrible, terrible shape. So this is a lot better. 213, also really good shape. 212, very good shape. Or not very good, but I'd say better than fine. 211, 137. What year is this? 1963. Cover's pretty. Worn, unfortunately, on that one. 142. It's better. This is more of a, a classic one. I remember seeing this in the past. 145. 150. 159. Fortunately, a mouse had a snack on that one. 163. 178. Pretty bright colors. 180. 187, 182. You got Superman's pal Jimmy Olsen. Look at this one. Don Rickles, very prominently on the cover of that one. That's number 141. Have an 80 page giant, number two. The back cover on this, unfortunately, is, has fallen off. 145, 143, 136. And sorry, I should have probably taken these. Uh, these stickers off before filming this. 148. I can't even tell. What's that? 146. 147. 149. 137. 142. It's a cool vampire cover. 151. Number 100, there you go. Superman's pal, Jimmy Olsen, number 100. You know, it's funny too, they say anniversary issue. I've noticed this in older comics. They, they say for the 100th issue anniversary. It's not really an anniversary. That would be the 100th year of doing it, so not very accurate. 109, 62, what year is that? 62, number 62 is in 62. 65, 71. 74, 76, 77, 80, 81, 82. It's a really cool wrestling cover. Here's a cool Godzilla and King Kong cover, number 84, and I got two copies of it. Although this one's beat. 89, 90, 95, another 80 page giant. 96, which is another wrestling cover. I guess wrestling was big at that time. 66, not sure who would have been a big star around that time, like Bruno San Martino. 98, 99, 103, 106, 113. 11, another wrestling cover. Was Jimmy Olsen a wrestler or something? Why are all these wrestling covers? 114, 116, two copies of 117, both in fairly decent shape. Two copies of 121, both in fairly decent shape. Although that one, yeah, I think the staple might have popped on that one. 124, 125, where Jimmy Olsen. <laughs> Awesome. Then we have Superman's girlfriend, Lois Lane, 78, 96, 71, 72. This one's not in good shape at all. 
cover on that. It's 81. 133. 122. Nice cover. 148. 119. 116. 118. This is an 80 page giant, number 3. 120. 110. 121. 98. 80. 47. 75. 50. 51. I don't know what years these are. Look a little older. 64. 52. 53. 54. 55. That one's not in good shape. Cover's detached. Who do you think this is going to be? Let me guess. It's Lois Lane. In the future, maybe? It's the thing about some of these older comics. This one also is not in good shape. The um, stories are pretty formulaic. I mean, they're meant for kids, but even still. Two copies of 62. 68, another 80-page giant. It's a cool... Catwoman cover, number 70, 87, 90, 93, that's the uh, 70s Wonder Woman, what year is this, 69, 95, 80 page giant, number 14, giant Lois Lane annual, number 2, and then 85. And I got some action comics and Supermans here, which is pretty cool. This is action 436, 444. These are a little, a little later on. 471, 421. Here's 336. That's a pretty classic cover. That's, yeah, okay shape. Not terrible. 327, 406. It's a cool headless Superman cover. 352. 359, 345, 365, not in good shape, 428, 427, 435, that's pretty cool. Look out Earth, it's doomsday when Superman screams, I want to wreck the world. 379, 440, 414, 447, number 400. My son, is he man or beast? It's Action Comics 400, huh? And again, see? Anniversary, they call it. 499, 542, 412, 414, 424, 396, where Superman's in a wheelchair. 409, 408, 406 again, 410. And this is Superman. This is uh, 217. This it's in not good shape. The cover's missing. This one also terrible shape. 212. It's really, really. It's like it's falling apart. Is this even a comic book? <laughs> it's like totally falling apart. Sad. 273. 184. That's nice. That's from 1966. Two copies, sweet. 186, 192, 171, 273, 274, 275, 277, 288, 293, 254, 269, excuse me, 249, with Terra Man. 255, 244, 247, 248, 250. There's the 250th edition of Superman. 253. And we got Adventure Comics here, a ton of these. 376, 371, 365, 385, 380, 378, 411, 396, 392, 382. 366. Looks like another. Doesn't look like a wrestling ring. Almost. 351. 345. 420. Eh, look, two copies of 420. Could roll a doobie on one. 414. 418. 
399, 412, 349. I think this might be the one that's missing the back cover I got over here. Back cover fell off of something. I guess I'm gonna assume it's that. Does that look right? I guess we'll just make that assumption. <laughs> oh, this is missing a back cover too. Maybe it goes to that one. I have two different adventure comics with no back cover. That sucks. Well, that back cover goes to one of them. 331, luckily I have two copies of, so it's not that big of a deal. 313, 315, 325, 347. There's 329 with Bizarro, 369, 297, 386, 385, 372. There's another 382, 383. And here are some more Silver Age Thors. I think the ones that I was finding earlier were from a little later on, but these are, are Silver and Bronze Age ones here. 146, 145, 143, 192. It's a Mighty Thor Story Marvel spe Special Marvel Edition number three. Special Marvel Edition number one. Thor 161, 162. 151, 153, 217, 224, 203, 209, 216, 209, 212. I found a couple of Detective Comics, not that many actually. 437, 448, 452. Not so many old, older ones. I had a ton of uh, a ton of newer ones. Then here in this pile, I didn't have much space left, so I just made sort of. Um, a horror slash sci-fi, just miscellaneous sort of pile. Got Gasp number three, Ghosts twenty-five, Witching Hour twenty-one, The Many Ghosts of Doctor Graves number fifty. I'm assuming that's not worth that much. Unfortunately, these Charlton comics aren't typically worth that much. Unexpected one forty, one forty-one. House of Mystery 219, Swamp Thing number 7. I know this uh, is a little different than like a horror comic, but it's there's not that many Swamp Things. There's only a few Swamp Things. Um, I guess I could put that in a miscellaneous DC pile. But Unexpected number 136, 134, 133, 132, 131. House of Secrets 148, House of Mystery 215. 201, 200, it's uh, 158, there's another Swamp Thing, number 13, pretty cool cover. If you ever seen the uh, Return of Swamp Thing movie, they feature a lot of really cool artwork in the opening credits. House of Secrets, 212, Ghostly Haunts, 30, From Beyond the Unknown, 25, The Demon, 14, 13, there's number 2, it's in terrible shape. Number four, again, falling apart. Seven. Unexpected, 135, 138, 144. And then there's uh, a bunch more war comics here. I think I showed you some of these earlier. So, pretty amazing so far. I got a lot more to go through. Obviously, I can't show you everything that's in this collection. I think these are most of the gems in addition to the stuff you've seen already. A lot of Spider-Man, at least four long boxes worth, and a ton of Iron Man, a ton of Batman. Just uh, a great, great find, especially for the price. So my recommendation, folks, is call your local comic book shop, call a few in your area, see if they are willing to sell any unsorted long boxes. That's really the key here, is either it's in a basement or a back room or unsorted, something that they're not, um, you know, it's not on the floor that they're selling. They're, it would be someplace where it's cluttering up space, where they're looking to get rid of it, where they don't want to have to deal with it, essentially. It goes to show you never know what you can, you can find when you try looking. So thanks for watching, folks, and uh, please, uh, please subscribe, ring the bell, and make sure that you watch all of the content on this channel whenever you get a chance. Thanks for watching, and we'll catch you next time.